I am not surprised Max Scherzer is possibly going to waive his no-trade clause. He doesn't want to be on this Mets team anymore. He knows the Mets are going nowhere. They stink. And one of the reasons why they stink is him. I don't care if he's 7-2. and two. The guy stinks. You're paying a guy $43 million a year. He's the highest paid pitcher in baseball. And he's ranked 40th in all major league starting pitching. This is a guy, every single analyst throughout the country, when the Mets landed Max Scherzer, they said they had the two best pitchers in baseball. Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer. How many games did both of those guys play last year? Year, around 30 together. If even. They couldn't stay healthy. And now you have, I feel bad for him, Jacob DeGrom, who has a UCL tear again. He's going to be out for at least a year and a half, maybe two. He just got a big contract from Texas. I'm not going to feel sad for him. He'll get a ring if the Rangers win a World Series this year. <laughs> He's got a nice, beautiful farm in Texas, and he doesn't have to deal with the New York fans. So congratulations to Jacob DeGrom. The New York Mets pitching staff, when you have old-timers playing like it was old-timers, Day. It doesn't work. Justin Verlander, since he's come here, two and four. What's his ERA? Four. He's horrible. His whip is higher than it's ever been in the last four years. It tells me one thing Steve Cohen is willing to open up his pockets. Steve Cohen is willing to go after the best players he possibly can get. But are they Mets? Do they fit here in New York? Are they young enough or good enough to still play in a very hard ballpark. It is not easy to play in New York. Look at how many pitchers have pitched here in New York for the Yankees. Sonny Gray being one of them. Sonny Gray was traded for a ton of prospects from the Oakland Athletics. The Yankees brought him to New York and he sucked. He goes to Cincinnati. He goes to an all-star game. Everywhere he's gone so far since he's left the Yankees, he's been a top 15 pitcher again. It's not easy to play here. That's just one. There are a ton. It doesn't work. I'm not saying Max Scherzer can't pitch in New York. Max Scherzer is a shell of himself. He is not the Max Scherzer where he was winning Cy Young after Cy Young for the Nationals. And I said that last year when the Mets signed him. Billy Epler says there is no indications of whether the Mets will be buyers or sellers yet. But mention they badly need pitching. Duh. All the Mets fans, he's very close with Otani. We have a good chance. Give me a break. Why would Otani want to come to the Mets? Why would Otani solve the depth? <laughs> you have a big problem with depth as it is, even if they had all these stars. He's closer to home out west. Out west for the Angels. The Angels are a borderline playoff team right now. Right. The Mets are not making the playoffs as of right now. The Mets lineup is horrible. The Angels lineup still has a guy named Mike Trout in it. He could go to the Dodgers. He could go to San Francisco. That's a playoff team. He could go to any one of those West teams. Why would he come to New York and play for a crappy Met team right now? That's interesting. You said the Giants, too, after striking out at Aaron Judge and Carlos Correa. Maybe Otani's the saving grace, especially to steal him from the Dodgers. Epler also mentioned that he is standing by Buck, despite criticism from the fans. Steve Cohen also gave a nice press conference and took responsibility for this team's terrible play. And he pretty much said that Epler and Showalter are safe. If you want to sell to the Met fans, being almost half the season, to be under 500, this is bad. And it cannot get any better than this. The way this team is playing. When you see Francisco Lindor at the end of the game, when the press is talking to him, and he is looking at the cameras and smiling, when I wouldn't be smiling, and saying, I don't like losing, and I don't like the way I'm playing, but this is what happens when teams are in a slump. How about this? You have the largest cap when it comes to players in the league. By like $80 million. (laughs) You have a bigger cap than the Yankees. And the Dodgers, and the Red Sox, and the Padres. And you're going to sit here and say, we're just not playing well. But there's still a lot of baseball left. You have teams right now, the Marlins, where their cap right now is bottom five probably. (laughs) They're in second place in your division and playing way better baseball than you are. You have the Atlanta Braves who give them bargain contracts. Go ask Acuna, who's making $100 million for seven years. And probably is going to win an MVP. How are the Mets going to compete with that team for the next three or four years when they're young, they're talented, 